For most in this group of East Tennessee veterans, this marked their first time back to Vietnam since the war ended. The 10-day tour in 2017 took them from vibrant cities to jungle rivers, ocean beaches, to mountain passes. Hi, John. Hey, John. Greetings, John. Twelve months after that return journey, we asked those veterans to reflect on what the trip meant to them. Any surprises or lasting impressions? This is the first time I've been in a, uh, in a sand pan. It scratched an itch of many years and filled some unknown wells of wondering that I didn't realize I had. I'm happier for it. I can summarize with one word, cathartic. I've suffered with survivor's guilt because I wasn't assigned to a line unit. I didn't experience the horror of ambush nor the fear of being overrun by a superior force, but I did experience the daily fear of possible attack. I enjoyed the experience, but I was left with confusion and a sense of waste. The toll on our country, meanwhile, has put us on an uncertain path dividing the populace instead of uniting, like World War II did. The trip meant a lot to me. They are still friendly people under the circumstances. The country is really going for tourism. The very unusual meeting with Mei Li, the daughter of a Vietnamese helicopter pilot who was a hero when he died trying to take all the persons from a village before the VC overrun the village, this trip was very important to me as I saw what the current Vietnamese people felt about Americans and asked for taking pictures with us. My opinion is we won the war. The guys were much more willing to share stories about their time in Vietnam and how they saw everything then and how the 2017 visit left them feeling a lot different about just being back in Vietnam many years later. I spent several years of my nursing career working in the psychiatric field, and I always believed that those patients who carried forward their bad, tragic, hurtful life experiences would be stuck in the past and never feel fully alive in the present. It has helped me to be more sure that I did the right things so long ago. We changed the lives of the people of Vietnam for the better. I think we won in the long run. What did they do with the all, all the old, like the hooches and stuff? You know, I was totally surprised by what was presented as Coochie Tunnels, where my base camp was. I'm totally convinced that what we saw was just for show and not my actual camp. What did last year's trip mean to me? Everything. That trip meant everything to me. I, I've always said I needed to go back. I'm so glad I did. It meant I had to face some of my fears and come to terms with a past that haunts me. It provided a means of finding some peace, fewer nightmares, and happier days. I hope I can leave some stuff back behind me when I get on that plane to go home, which I'm going to, I think, because I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper. And when we get on that plane, I'm throwing it on the ground, leaving it here. Sincerely, Bill and Betsy Batho. Thank you.